Hello everybody and welcome to a special edition of Fighter Subscriber. Now one thing you might have noticed straight off the bat is that uh, normally here I showcase the subscriber craft I'm going to fight but this is one of my own craft. This is one of my Panthers. Uh, you might have noticed some slight differences on the craft itself but also things look a little bit greener, there's mountains missing, so uh, what's going on? Well, this all started when one of my subscribers, Jesus Antonio, or Jay to his friends, uh, got in touch to say, I have a fighter I'd like you to fight, but uh, I built it using a whole ton of realism mods, and I kind of need you to fight it with those same mods. So I thought, well, sounds like fun, and I have... Let's put it like this. First of all, I had to install Ferrum Aerospace, uh, which I covered in a mod video not that long ago. Uh, then I also had to install Real, Real Solar System, uh, which as you can see here, we're, we're actually on a, a proper Earth. Um, I also had to install Realism Overhaul. Once you've reinstalled uh, Realism Overhaul and you want to fly jet aircraft, you have to install advanced jet engines. And if you want to use advanced jet engines, you have to install real fuels. I, I have fallen down a rabbit hole of realism mods here. Now all this presents some interesting challenges for my own craft, of course, because with all these realism mods, particularly Ferrum Aerospace, you can't just fly an normal aircraft like you would in regular KSP, because if you, uh, if you push it too hard, then this happens. And generally speaking, there's not a lot left for your opponent to do, so I have had to go through and uh, well, retweak my craft, set them up properly so that they can just fly properly with all these mods installed, let alone fight, and, uh, well, it's been an interesting experience. Uh, I mean, first of all, the most difficult craft was the club tail, um, and the craft that actually now performs the best with all these realism mods is the cyclone, which kind of makes sense. You know, you, you try and make KSP as realistic as possible, and suddenly those crazy, wacky craft that wouldn't fly in real life won't fly in real life. The flip side of that very coin though is that my uh, cyclone is now very good. I mean it really surprised me how well I could get this to fly. Uh, I think Jay might be in a bit of trouble with this one but uh, anyway I have bedecked my install with a plethora of realism mods. Uh, I have adjusted my crafter suit and now it's time finally to go and see today's contender. And so here is Jay's craft, the F-18LB, uh, a rendition of the real-life F-18. And uh, I must say, not only does it come pretty damn close, but it's also a damn good-looking uh, craft in KSP, just in its own right. Uses a lot of procedural parts, especially the uh, procedural wings, and they are used to uh, excellent effect here. I have taken it up for a quick test fly. Uh, thank you to Jay for sending me that video telling me how to uh, how to configure this so you can fly it manually without things going horribly, horribly wrong. Um, now, because of all the realism mods, you don't get the unrealistic hypermaneuverability you can get in vanilla KSP, so I'm not going to be flying this one under the bridge. I do apologise, but um, still a very, very nice craft. Very nice to fly, very manoeuvrable, and I, uh, I think it's going to give my own craft a run for their money, so... Uh, well, let's get started, shall we? So then, let's get down to business. Now, we're going to do this in the reverse of the usual order with regards to Mycroft, just because the uh, the Cocktails and the Panthers weren't that good in testing with all the realism mods, whereas the Cyclones really, uh, really shone out. So we're going to leave the Cyclones till last. So first of all, the F-18s will be going up against my Panthers, and I'm kind of hoping I've done enough with the tweaking to, uh, to make this work, but... Um, well, we'll see. Let's get them into the air. Incidentally, when uh, these first came to me, they oh my god, look at that frame rate. Mm. Yeah, that's not good. Mm. Anyway, I was saying, when these first came to me, there was a bit of a problem with some of the procedural wings, so I had to spend uh, a little bit of time correcting those. I hope I've done an okay job and haven't, uh, haven't crippled the, their performance, but... Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Everybody getting up to a decent takeoff speed. The F-18s are off the ground. How are my Panthers doing? Pulling... Not yet pulling back. There we go. The Panthers are off the ground. I was getting worried there for a second. Back to the F-18s. We'll follow the F-18s up for the most part. Now, um... With all the realism mods, with the changes to engines, it does mean that the craft gets up to um, 
get to the competition start distance a lot quicker. You can see we're already up to uh, seven kilometers, and if uh, if the frame rate wasn't quite so uh, quite so dodgy at the moment, that would have been uh, been even quicker in real time. But as it is, the competition has started, and everybody is turning around to loose missiles. Some coming in already, but the uh, the F-18s get theirs away. I think they're set up to shoot more than one missile. They are. I think it's two missiles a target. Now, they're not carrying an awful lot of missiles, so they are going to um, get rid of those pretty quickly, and I suspect we'll be hoping for some early missile kills. Because if not, the uh, the Panthers, who sort of uh, save, their, uh, save their stock of missiles and use it a bit more cautiously, will have the upper hand. It doesn't... Oh! That was one of the Panthers hit. Where is it? That one nearly going into the ground. I cannot see. There was some debris came off from somewhere. I can't see the effect of Panther. There must just have been some um, miscellaneous parts that went flying instead of anything crucial, but uh, more missiles flying back and forth. It's F-18 turning to try and get some more uh, Try and bring some more weapons to bear. Something just exploded. What was that? That was another explosion from a panther. Oh, and that is the first one gone. Yeah, obviously. Maybe I didn't do quite... Oh, and here there goes another one. I was about to say, yeah, maybe I didn't do quite enough in the tweaking. Fires a missile that just about hits the ground as his nose does. I'm not sure what that was supposed to achieve, but never mind. We are down to one lone panther who is already pretty heavily damaged. This is not looking good. The F-18s have the panther in their sights. Oh, but they are momentarily distracted by that last... Yeah. Lenny Kerman... Kerman? Lenny Kerman? I'm not sure, but uh, distracting... Oh. <laughs> what is it about these panthers and just... Firing missiles into their own noses. Never mind, but uh, those F-18s having been distracted by that uh, by that Panther, it's allowed this Panther to come in and get a, what looks like a missile kill. That looks like one of the F-18s has been quite badly shredded. Yes, that is the first kill for the Panthers. It is now two on one, but I don't think these F-18s are going to be quite as distracted as they had been previously. So, yeah. Both, both F-18... Oh, and that is another one of the F-18s gone, I think. No, that's the Panther gone. So I got confused about who was shooting at who. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty pretty convincing. And there's a, there's a Sidewinder escaping to space, as you do. And the F-18s, just to make sure they've finished off the job, follow it down with a hail of gunfire. So, um... Yeah, that first fight went pretty much as I predicted. A 3-1 uh, victory for the F-18s. Let's, uh, let's move on to the next fight. Round two then, and this time the F-18s will be going up against my club tails. Let's get them straight up into the air. And uh, this time we're going to follow up the club tails because this was the craft I had the most difficulty configuring for, um, for the realism scenario. Uh, and I'm still not entirely sure how good a job I did. I just want to keep keep an eye on them, make sure they don't crash into each other and they actually do get off the ground okay. Um, also, it's going to be interesting when, it, we, uh, when we get into the uh, the missile volleys, because if you've watched any, any of my previous videos, you'll know that the uh, the Club Tails and its, its predecessors in the Dragonfly family of craft have been strangely reluctant to uh, to get off their first volley of missiles for whatever reason. I maybe should have a look at that, look in the configuration, the way I've uh, set up the autopilot to see if there's anything to do with that, but uh, yeah. Last time it was almost, com I think it was completely missile kills that last fight, so uh, dodging missiles is going to be vital and that'll depend on how successful I've I've been in sort of transferring their their vanilla KSP maneuverability to um, to the realism mods. 
We'll have to see, won't we? Anyway, we're getting up nearly to the 8 kilometers mark now, so uh, any second... Oh, flying a bit close there. They're pointing almost directly away from the F-18s. That's not good news, because they're not going to be able to turn around and fire their missiles. They uh, start to make a valiant attempt, but no. Here come the missiles from the F-18s, and uh, I think it's just going to be a case of trying to dodge all the incoming missiles. Um... Hmm, is it that one? Yeah, that one has loose to missiles, it's just they're down there. Valfield Kerman heading a bit low. You might have left it a bit too late. Oh! That is an early casualty. Valfield Kerman plows straight into the ground. That is... That is not what the club tells needed. Obviously, that manoeuvrability is still an issue. And we switch to one of the club tells there. Oh, get rid of that. I don't want to see that. Dowig Kerman doing a better job of breaking low than pulling up to avoid the missiles, but um, yeah, that is not good news. I think legitimately forced into the ground there, trying to dodge a missile. Oh, another missile coming in for Madford Kerman. That explodes a little close, and the game pauses, and it was indeed enough to shred poor Madford. Oh dear. That is another one that's effectively out. Dowig Kerman, you are you are our last hope. Missiles incoming. Can you... Turns out, no, she can't. Hmm. Well, efficient stuff from the F-18s, if nothing else. And, uh, I think that did any of them get even the slightest bit of damage? Nothing obvious, which I think probably means nothing at all. So the F-18s run rampant and yet again are dominant in a fight. Um, I don't know what that was. Anyway, um, it's time for me to play what I hope is the ace up my sleeve. Here we are then for the final fight of the day and all hope for salvaging some pride for my craft lies squarely in the hands of the Cyclones, the craft of mine that has adapted the best to the uh, to the realism mods. Um, but uh, will it be enough? Let's find out. Let's get them straight up into the air. Our craft now just about getting to the prerequisite distance, and there we go, the competition has started. I don't know what it is, but these F-18s always seem to be in a slightly more advantageous position to fire their missiles than my craft have been. I'm not sure why that is, but, um... Hmm... Anyway, the Cyclones, having adapted better to the, uh, to the realism environment, all do manage to get their own missiles away. Well, that's a first. Yes, a more manoeuvrable than, um, the other, the other, uh, craft of mine that have been in the fight so far. So, dodging missiles and, uh, getting their own missiles away will be a slightly easier task for them, although I'm not going to count my chickens. Um, yeah, the sort of failure of my craft to adapt to fighting in this environment has been quite spectacular, so... We'll have to see what the final score is, but that... It's all gone... very slow for a second there. All my craft seem to be okay. Yep. All the F-18s seem to be okay as well, and we are closing to within gun range, and that is where the Cyclones get very deadly. Um, when I was doing the tests of these F-18s, sort of the combat tests, just to make sure nothing was um, too badly wrong with them, it was the, the Cyclone versus an F-18, and the Cyclone tended to win, and oh! Scorches the F-18 immediately, and that is another Cyclone putting guns to a another F-18. Who's this? Joel Kerman. That's like the most letters you can have legitimately have in that name. That is that is spectacular work there, but um, the F-18 seems to have pulled a bit of a switcheroo on that one. Ooh, how are the F-18s getting on? This F-18 pulling some manoeuvres. Ah, it doesn't appear to have a cyclone anywhere really near it. Switches to missiles. Bit of a dogfight going on there. Let's see if we can join that one. I... Oh, it's all gone very slow again. I don't think that's the correct one. This is the one. 
Fran Inkerman has a cyclone. Bullets raining in, a cyclone on his tail, and it's not looking good. Can we get some sort of turnaround? Has to pop some chaff as there's an Amram coming in from one of the other cyclones. But this is more like it. This is more of a competition. This is more of a proper fight. That other cyclone having to break off because of a missile that's incoming for it. Let's uh, let's go see if we can find some action elsewhere. This is the uh, this is the uh, F-18 responsible for that uh, that that disruptive missile. But uh, but now Debkus Kerman has gunfire raining in from one of the cyclones. Ah, I, as I say, don't want to count my chickens, but it looks like that sounded like an explosion of some description. Is that something exploding? I think that was just a missile going into the, uh, going into the ground. Debkus Kerman breaking low, popping chaff, and oh, what was, oh. We have the first kill of the fight after about seven bloody minutes. Um, yes, Debkus Kerman gets shredded by a missile. Very much advantage cyclones. Hmm. Can I, can I start to count my chickens now? Maybe, maybe just a little bit of chicken counting. That can't help. That can't hurt, right? So that is. Oh, what's happened to that cyclone? One of my cyclones appears to be... I don't know what happened there, but it... No, they're all fine. So it looked like one of them was tumbling into the sea. I was getting worried there for a second, but no, everything... Oh my word! That was what the explosion was. Another one of the F-18s has gone. I don't know what caused that, but... We are down to three against one. Oh, and another missile comes in. I'll just 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 leave that just um, so we don't have to see the the bloody slaughter there. But it is it is three on one, and here comes the gunfire, and this is not good news for Macmin Kerman. The gunfire reigns in, having a little difficulty, sort of avoiding that gunfire. But this, as I said earlier, and I've said several times, is where the cyclones really do have the advantage. They just are oh, just that. A little bit more manoeuvrable than the F-18s. And uh, here comes another missile. It can't be long now before uh, before Macmin Kerman succumbs to the inevitable. Here comes more gunfire. Oh, she has gone into quite a heavy dive. Will she be able to pull out in time? I don't know what's happened there. Her engines have cut out. She's just Well, not a particularly fitting way to end the fight, but uh, a way to end it after nearly ten minutes, nonetheless, which is uh, which is something of a blessing. So, our cyclones, as I said, do manage to salvage some pride for my own craft, but um, yeah, I think a bit of luck helped as well. Those F F-18s, they are beautiful craft, very well configured for all the realism mods and. My other two craft just didn't really stand a chance from from the get-go, if I'm perfectly honest. But um, thank you very much again to Jesus Antonio for sending me that craft. Um, if you'd like to send me one of your craft to fight, I'll put a link to the uh, to the email and a brief summary of just some short rules I've thrown together. Uh, I'll put those both in the description, and uh, I look forward to receiving those. But uh, in the meantime, and with one of my cyclones having inexplicably crashed into the ocean, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.